हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सी जी ए टी मैथ्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर सुरेश ब्रदर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एवाल्युएशन ऑफ ए डबल इंटीग्रल विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू बै चेंजिंग द आर्डर ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ ई इज ईक्वल टू इंटीग्रल रन फ्रम जीरो टू वन एंड एक्स टू रूट एक्स एक्स वाई इंटू dy into dx. Okay, now first we need to understand some basic ideas related to changing the order of integration. First, student, uh, you just understand the limit uh, uh, limit involving the variable x means it corresponds to y is equal to, and remaining should be remaining the integral should be runs from zero to one. So as per the given. Uh, Uh, first we are going to integrate with respect to y so usually we are going in the reverse order we know already so first we are going to integrate with respect to y then we are going to integrate with respect to x okay uh, by changing the order of integration students so now now we are going in the reverse order first we are going to integrate with respect to x then integrate with respect to y okay before uh, uh, changing the order of integration now let us uh, Uh, uh uh sketch the uh, given limits okay so how it will be is okay first look at fine uh x axis and uh, y axis this is our region so look at students here uh x is equal to 0 to 1 x equal to 0 to 1 is called horizontal horizontal strip horizontal strip is x equal to 0 to x equal to is x equal to 1 so x equal to 0 is student equation of y axis so x equal to 1 is somewhere here let us take this is x equal to 1 The line x equal to one. Fine. Now y is equal to x. Okay. Uh, next, we are going to write vertical strip. So, what is vertical strip? So, that is lower to upper. Horizontal means you can remember uh, left, left side to right side, left to right. left to right vertical strip means that is y is equal to x to y is equal to root x so y is equal to x is sum uh, or it is a line it will bisect the first quadrant and third quadrant okay so this is like in this form actually middle of x x and y x is and uh, next value is can squaring on both sides you will get uh, y square is equal to x y square is equal to x is the parabola okay uh, somehow this is uh, like this that is uh, opens right of y x so totally uh, our aim is to calculate uh, this area or uh, actually it will calculates uh, this here okay uh, to change the order of integration student first we need to calculate uh, this point means uh, where actually uh, these y is equal to x and y is equal to x square meets okay. it's very simple one student so just we are going to solve these two equations so how do you solve these two equations substitute one in another that is y is equal to x substitute y is equal to x in y is equal to root x substitute y is equal to x here x equal to root x uh, squaring on both sides you will get x square is equal to x further x square minus x equal to 0 by bringing x to left side 
further you can take x common x minus 1 equal to 0 you will get x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 are the roots x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 are the roots now substitute this x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 in any one of these two equations students so we will get uh, y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 when x equal to 0 y equal to 0 when x equal to 1 y is equal to 1 we get two points that is 0 comma 0 and 1 comma 1 so they, therefore therefore uh, these two curves y is equal to x and y square is equal to x meets at the origin that is 0 comma 0 and at the point 1 comma 1 okay so students now what we need to do is the left to right the left to right and this is lower portion to upper side is converted in reverse order first we are going to write lower to upper then we are going to left to right to achieve this it is very easy one just you can observe you will come to know Just look at on changing order of integration. Okay. First, I am going to write i is equal to first limit, then the remaining is remaining is just you can write uh, this is uh, this is xy you just write in the reverse order dy by dy is dx and this dx becomes dy and here also reverse here it is y means you try to write x this will become y okay. now fine now look at carefully now i am going to uh, uh, i am going to draw the diagram again okay. try to understand x axis y axis now first i am going to write the parabola and the line where these two meets at the point 1 comma 1 and 0 comma 0 actually this is the area we need to calculate need to calculate So for that, just concentrate here left to right can be written as first limit should be a what constant limits only. So for that, since here this is x equal to 1 and y is equal to 1, I am going to draw a line. This is uh, y is equal to 1. Okay, first what I am going to write, this is y is equal to 0 equation of x x is y is equal to 0 I am going to write y is equal to 0 to 1 ok so first limit should be a constant then variable so this is student lower to upper is over then I want left side okay. I want uh, left side left side is what left side is a curve left side is a curve what is the curve here this is this curve is uh, y is equal to root x but I want in terms of x, for that you can squaring on both sides, you will get x. x value is y square. So left side is y square, 
right side is a line student what is line y is equal to x but i want in terms of x x equal to y so that's it we have changed the order of integration next thing is just to integrate okay uh, so how to integrate this so just we are integrating in the uh, first integrate uh, uh, with respect to x then with respect to y so first integrate with respect to x so y is equal to keep it y is equal to 0 to 1 as it is with respect to x y is constant integration of x is x square by 2 between the limits y square to y into y so this is uh, integral y runs from 0 to 1 uh, y into r you can take 1 by 2 outside so just x square remaining substitute upper limit substitute upper limit that is uh, y square x is replaced by y square minus y square whole square is y raised to 4 2 this is y runs from 0 to 1 multiply it y cube minus y raised to 5 into dy. So integration of y cube is next we are going to integrate with respect to y. y cube is y raised to 4 by 4. This is y raised to 6 by 6. That is integration of y raised to 6 between 0 to 1. So substitute upper limit minus lower limit. 1 raised to 4 is 1 divided by 4 minus 1 raised to 6 is 1 by 6. Lower limit is 0 by 4 is 0 and 0 by 6 is 0. So 1 by 4 minus 1 by 6 is. So what is the LCM student? This is 6 minus 4 divided by. 6 fours are 24. This is uh, 2 by 24 is 1 by 12. Uh, we have forgotten uh, 1 by 2 here. Uh, just uh, you can uh, write 1 by 2 outside. So this is 1 by 2 times half. 1 by 2 times into 1 by 24. This is uh, 2 to get cancelled. This is uh, 1 by 24. Thank you so much for watching students. We will meet in the next video. Thank you.